you ever been to the top of the universe? <laughs> What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Subscriber died trying. You see the thumbnail, right? That's a good question. Do we have the heart to change the culture? Um, when people talk about doing it for the culture and, and, and it's, for, it's for the culture, it got perverted. So, unfortunately, the culture is some way, somehow intertwined with criminality. So, to take the, to take it away from that culture, we might have to meet people on their level. Because for some odd reason, if we try to change the culture and take it away from criminality, there's going to be a war, or you know what I'm saying? Because people need need and survive and thrive. And some people have gotten where they've gotten um, off of the dysfunction. So they, I got to ask the question for the people who are like that, who really want to bring that everywhere they go. And the people who are not like that are people who are not in the, in criminality's mindset. Are you willing to terrorize people who are in criminal mindsets? Because that's what it's going to take. You know, unfortunately, um, people have this idea that, you know, using religion, let go and let God not going to work because religion is filled with too many dysfunctional backsliders who are making the same mistakes over and over and over again, saying, you know, but God knows my heart. If you're making the same quote unquote mistakes, then you're not changing. You're not growing and God knows you just you the the first time you committed that sin and, and you felt remorse is no it is one thing, but the fifty seventh time you did it, you kind of desensitized to it. So it's not really that much much of a sin anymore. It's it's more so something you got used to being a norm. You know what I'm saying? So that's an issue. Now, how much heart we going to do to uh, how much heart does it take? The the adversarial part of the relationship dynamic. You going are we supposed to fight to keep this relationship model alive? Or are we supposed to just cut it off? You know, cut it off at the knees or cut the head off of it and go nah. Not doing that. You know, are you willing to, do you have a heart to tell people, basically, you're going to be over there and I'm going to be over here. And I promise if you, you, if you come over here, you're an enemy. Because I know where you're coming from and I know what you, you're coming with. And I know what you're coming to do. You know, do we have the heart to change the culture from that aspect of saying, no, nah, we're all, you know, all skin folk, ain't kin folk, and we're going to treat it as such. Because I think part of the issue has always been that people have let people and allowed people to, who, just because you're black, you're part of the culture, and you can be the weakest link, or you can be the person that drags us all down just because you want to do what you want to do and you're not willing to um, make any sacrifices for the greater good. So, and those people have, you know, b created families or broken families or, or, or more, more so a community and a culture of this dysfunctional, broken thing being the norm and you can bring that everywhere you go and because you bring that everywhere you go that's the culture and now you see why people you know don't frequent certain types of events or don't go certain places because it's like I'm done I ain't got time for this 
Um, but then, you know, we're going to have to change it. What, what am I, do I want my kids to be involved in this? Well, if you don't want your kids to be involved in this, you got two options. One, get way away from everybody and be isolated. Or two, you know, roll your sleeves up and, you know, crack a few eggs, right? And that's another part about it. You know, do you have the heart to change the culture when it comes to, are you willing to, what are you going to do about the generations? Are you willing to take care of the rebellious ones, kids, when when the rebellious nature gets them killed or locked up? Or do you lead the kids? See what I'm saying? Because they're going to be rebellious with you, you know, but as all parents or whatever, when people are trying to be parents, you're going to have to have patience. But should you do you do it? Should you do it? You know, or or is it a case by case basis? Because some of those kids are the antithesis to their rebellious parents because their rebellious parents put them in a bad position. You know, they're looking for an out. Others, they're just looking to be a rebel somewhere else. So are you willing to, you know, to let them go? Like, you know, I remember people saying, you know, we're going to have a generation loss. So it was so be it. Let's just move on to the next. The only problem with that was the generation that you saw was lost. You let them raise the kids that they had, even though they was lost. So you exacerbate the problem. So do we have a heart to change that culture also? So, do we have the heart to change the culture of leaning on religion and not um, common sense? You know, that's a hard thing for us to do. Like, you know, can we put down the Bible and, and and put on our common sense and go, this is, you know, this is good. This ain't, I'm not going to take it on the chin for God's sake when, you know, me, me making this decision isn't really a sin or a crime or unethical or moral. It's just, it's not, I'm on the moral high ground of, I got to take a loss to be seen good in the eyes of God. And somebody lied to you. So are we willing to, to, to change the culture when it comes to that mentality also? Because it's, it's difficult for some. But we shall see. So tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Peace.